Daily Devotional Preaching with Peter Timothy Cooper Mark chapter 12 and verse 43 He called his disciples together and said to them, I tell you that this poor widow put more in the offering box than all the others. Let me tell you a story about generosity and giving things away. When 67-year-old carpenter Russell Herman died in 1994, his will included a staggering set of bequests. Including in his plan for distribution was more than $2 billion for the city of East St. Louis, another billion and a half for the state of Illinois, two and a half billion for the national forest system and to top off the list Herman left six trillion dollars to the government to help pay off the national debt that's that's amazingly generous there was one small problem Herman's only asset when he died was a 1983 Oldsmobile he made great pronouncements but there was no no real generosity his promises were meaningless because he had nothing to back them up. True generosity is not determined by the amount that we give or even the amount we offer to give. It's determined by our hearts. When Jesus saw a, a widow giving a small amount but great um, uh, in proportion to what she had, he said to his disciples, look, this woman put in more than all the others. That, Jesus was saying, is true generosity. That is what giving things away is really like. It was a sacrificial gift. The gift that she gave demonstrated how much she loved God and his work and was showing her commitment by giving a large amount of the small amount that she have. The best way to determine what we love most is not by our words, not by making empty promises, but by how we use our time and our money. That's the real test of how to give away for God. You have been listening to Daily Devotional Preaching, and I have been Peter Timothy Cooper. Thanks for listening. I'll be back tomorrow.